hello guys welcome back today we'll be making your trousers and these are the things i'm going to be using uh and the measurements i'm going to be using are also here so i've marked the lines already the starting line and the waistline i'll just go ahead and put in the vertical measurements so from my waist to my hip i'll make a point from my waist to my crotch i will make a point then from my waist to my knee i'll also make a point here then i'll repeat all those uh, measurements here for a straight line for straighter horizontal lines then as you can see i'm going to put in the horizontal lines My ruler is a little bit shorter guys so for the bottom part since it won't be able to reach the bottom part which is the ankle i'm going to just subtract the full length of the ankle which is 38 minus 22 for the um, knee and that will give me 16 inches and that will make make the distance from the knee to the ankle just a little bit of math you can go ahead and mark it with your measuring tape it will be easier i think so i'll go ahead and label this as the front then this is the hip line this is the crotch line then i'll just add in the thigh line of which go down by three inches from the crotch line to come up with the thigh line so i'll just mark it to thigh line then this is the knee line and the ankle line at the bottom then from here we're going to work with these three lines first and i'll come to the hip line my hip circumference is 42 divided by Four, which gives me 10.5 which I'm going to mark here then I also mark on the crotch line and on the waist line so these three lines are what we're working with to start with then I'm just gonna join these uh, points then I'll come down to my crotch line i'll get the hip line divided by four then i'll come up with the crotch extension okay so 10.5 divided by four is 2.6 of which i'm going to mark here 2.6 which will be the extension of the crotch then i'll come out by two inches so that my curve does not go too deep and i'll just uh, curve this line like this so now we have this new line of which you have to find the midpoint you can actually measure this line to find this midpoint mine is measuring 13 inches so 13 inches the midpoint will be 6.5 so i'm measuring from the beginning of the starting line the line that's um we put the vertical measurements on 6.5 from the starting line 6.5 6.5 so i'll go ahead and come up with the the crease line which will help us shape our trousers well all right so now from this line i'm going to go down by four inches for the front dot then it's going to be one inch wide so 0 0.5 0 0.5 then we're going to connect those lines for our dot then we'll go ahead and put in the waist measurement so my waist was 33 divided by 4 is 8.2 plus 1 inch 
for the debt allowance and 0 0.5 for the ease allowance. Then from here, we can go ahead and curve this line to the hip line. So next, I'll go to my thigh line, which was uh, 23. 23 divided by 2 is 11.5. Then we'll mark um, 5.7 at each side of the crease line to make the 11.5. Same with the knee. My knee, which was 16 inches, divided by 2, which was 8. So I've marked 4 at each side of the crease. My ankle was 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So I'll mark 2.5, 2.5. That's the use of this line that's appearing to be on the middle. Then join the, the points that we have marked. So guys, continue to join the lines like I am doing for the crush line. You can see I'm trying to put a little bit of a curve. So I'll go ahead and trace this piece to use for the back later. Let's go back to the front. I've added 0 0.5 sewing allowance all around, except at the bottom I've added 2 for hemming. So for the zipper fly, I've just gone at the tip of the original uh, crotch extension and just uh, extended the line upwards. And it is ending at the hip line where I'm going to make a little bit of a curve at the hip line. And we are done with the zipper fly. So I'll just... Um, draw a line here to finish it up and i'm just gonna demonstrate how to cut don't cut through the zipper fly cut like this okay just removing the excess so i don't want to be irritated by paper so this is how you're going to cut your pattern like this then let me also demonstrate at the bottom part where the hemming will be i also want to just demonstrate how you're going to cut that too so when i reach here i'm going to stop then fold your line at the ankle line fold the hemming allowance and make sure it's aligning to the top then cut so that you don't fall short of fabric make sure it's aligning to the last part which is the allowance that's why you should cut from like this so where this um paper aligns to the allowance make a cut like that so that's what i wanted to show you so that when you fold this you don't fall short of fabric so we are done with the front part I'm just doubling the zipper fly, but this is how it has turned out. We can now go to the back part and we'll start with the crotch line. So from here, I'm going to extend the line by two inches for the back. So I extend by two inches. Then after that, go down by 0 0.5 inch. Then keep that in mind. We'll come back to that. So now we can go to the top part. So you can see this distance from here to here. Get the midpoint of this line. So mine is 4, meaning it's um, 2 is the midpoint. And I've just marked it there. Then from here, let's go back to the crotch line. From here, you remember the crotch extension that we added on the front part, this part, this piece. This should be extended there. You see, this line from here to here, it should be extended upwards. 
So you can go ahead and measure it if you've forgotten. Mine is 2.6. I've not forgotten just for demonstration's sake. So 2.6, I'm going to add it here. Let it be in a straight line. Then you can go ahead and join these points um, until the 0 0.5 we went down by. Then extend here by 2.5 inches to avoid going too deep. 2.5 inches. Then, then from the 0 0.5 which I had gone down by, I'm going to make a curve which will end at the hip line. Okay. I told you to keep that 0 0.5 in mind. So it's ending at the hip line. Then, then I'll go ahead and join this to the curve like this. So I'll draw a line up to here. Then I will then extend the curve like that. Okay. Then back to the waistline. So the distance for your waistline is supposed to be used. If you've forgotten, you can go ahead and measure it. But let me go ahead and extend the waistline first. Then the distance, this distance is used to get your back waist so once you get that you mark and draw a line draw a slanted line with the measurement of your waist from the back then as you can see this um this uh, measurement should be extended here and it should be parallel to this new line so i'll measure this distance again which is four inches and i'm going to transfer it to the back piece like this then again measure here be in the parallel line be with this line the slanted line is what you should use to get this now i can join these points together and as you can see it's in a parallel line because i was starting from there when getting these measurements then i'll go ahead and put in the dot here it's going to be 5.5 inches then uh, we can put in 0 0.5 0 0.5 since it's one inch wind then we can join the dot so you can see the dot is aligning with the shape of the back part as you can see it's not straight so from this point now we're going to now Add in one inch from the thigh line, knee line, and ankle line, both sides of the uh, trousers. Then go ahead and join. This uh, one inch we are going out by is going to help the trousers seam to sit in the right place. Remember, your back part is a little bit bigger and needs a little bit more space. Then we can curve that in. Then also try to make a curve here. So guys, make sure your hip line has got a curve that protrudes a bit more. It shouldn't look like a box like this. And I've added in 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance all around. So guys, I went ahead and curved it a little curvy. It looks better now. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.